explain to you, it is Katie and Oxford and Olivia. Today we are going to be cleaning my bathroom together. When I get into a grind of something, particularly school, I tend to forget about everything else that exists in life. And lately, I've forgotten about cleaning my bathroom as I've been focusing on my online class. But because the class is coming to a close, I'm focusing on other things. One being my YouTube channel. Two being, you know, living in a cleanly environment. My bathroom is a flipping mess right now, so we're going to clean it together. Just so you know, on my um, iPad right now, there is an ad playing. The ad is playing on a video entitled Watch to Donate to Black Lives Matter. They also have Watch to Donate to Yemen videos if you want to um, share your concern for the Yemen crisis. And I go back and forth between Black Lives Matter and Yemen videos. If you check the description of this video, there will be a playlist of these videos. And you can just let these videos play while you're sleeping or while you're cleaning your bathroom, and the AdSense revenue that gets um, funded onto these videos will be donated to Black Lives Matter slash Yemen helping charities. So please watch, please stay educated on Black Lives Matter, Yemen, the um, Hispanic children that are still in cages, and just the general state of the world because COVID is a clear sign that it's crashing down, but it's been crashing down in many more ways than just that. Stay woke, my darlings. And with all of that being said, let's get to the linen closet. No, the laundry room. Let's get to the laundry room, get some cleaning supplies, and then let's take ourselves to the bathroom, my darling. You can't see it from this angle, but I'm going to clear the stuff off of this counter so that we can wipe it clean, baby girl. It's it's filthy at the moment. now at the other sink cleaning up all of the stuff that has accumulated back when I did this Hearst Tayol. There is a video up on that if you guys are interested. It was really fun and um, as you can see it came out pretty decent. I was expecting a train wreck so if you want to see that, check that out. Checking Twitter trending has become like one of my new hobbies. I do it all the time just because I feel like there's no other way to stay in the loop about stuff. Because, I mean, I don't watch the news, like, regularly, so to just get the quickest and, like, most constant updates on stuff for me, Twitter is the way. And I know Twitter is not a news service, but there will be links to other reputable news services or whatever. And everybody's dying. Everybody's suffering. Um, Miss Rona numbers are increasing drastically. And I'm just like, what happened? What honestly happened? Why are we going so... I mean, I'm not surprised that we're going so far downhill. I just kind of wish it wasn't happening. I just wish I could turn around and be like, nah, things are things are good. Things are great. The world, it, it has improved and we are prospering for once. I wish that I could finally be in a position where I can say that, but I'm not. I haven't been for a long time. Things just keep finding new ways to go downhill. Like, who was expecting a pandemic? But here we are. All my hair stuff is under the cabinet, but like every time I do my hair, it ends up a mess up here. Or like every time I do my makeup, I wish I had a better way of arranging things. But for now, this is what I've got, and I've just got to try and keep it as organized as I can. <sighs> makeup brushes that are unwashed. Oh well, I don't have the time right now. I just don't care enough. We're just throwing stuff where it goes. 
Also, every time I do my hair, I lose more and more of my hair clips. It's probably because of the jankiness of my cleaning process. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, you win some, you lose most. I really hope you guys have been doing a better job than I have of keeping your spaces clean. Um, having a clean space is important to, like, promoting productivity, generally being cleanly, just, like, living a better life. <laughs> I feel like, um, having a space this dirty should be unacceptable, this should be illegal. Um, but it isn't, so I keep on getting myself into these positions where I have to go into these big cleaning sprees and they clean out my whole life, but it's like... It wouldn't have been this big of a mess in the first place if I had just kept up with it. Cleaning out my tub is always a pretty big doozy because I have to spray a lot of spray in it and like let it sit and really like um, break down the just terrible mess in my tub. So it takes a long time. It gets really fumy in here. I have to turn on the fan when I do it. It's rough. I don't like cleaning my tub, especially because it just gets dirty again every time I wash my hair. So I don't like cleaning my tub. But it's just like I can't live in filth. I can't clean my body in a filthy environment. So it's it's gotta go. Um, <laughs> I've recently been really into body care, like skincare, but for the body. So I have in like a salicylic acid wash, but I got a really big bottle. So that I can use it on the body. Yup. <laughs> I also have an exfoliator to scrub. I normally use, um, what is the brand called? Tea Tree? Might be called Tea Tree. I don't know. It's the typical Walmart, like, body scrub brand. But I recently bought Hemp, this one. It is their pomegranate scent. Love the scent. I wish the exfoliation was a little rougher on this. <laughs> but generally it's good. The Hemp doesn't really do anything for me. I'm more of a CBD girly if I'm feeling that anxious. Hemp isn't all that effective, but I've been using that for my skin exfoliant. I actually used it last night and my skin felt so smooth afterwards. Love exfoliating the body every so often. And a body wash, I just like one that smells good. I'm generally pretty cheap, but I might start investing in like more, like better body washes and moisturizing body wash. This is moisturizing, it's a suave. The scent is milk and honey, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, smells great, but it's like super cheap. It's suave. So I might be investing in more like expensive body washes in the future to get better benefits for the body skin. I'm trying to be smooth and cute and stuff. I also have, I haven't used this in a while, but it is Dr. Teal's um, foaming bath, uh, foaming bath with Epsom salt. I have the Balance and Calm like matcha and green tea scent slash version. I use this when I take baths very relaxing and it turns the bath water a little blue. I really like it. Um, this is my shaving cup. It's got a little water in there right now, but it, it's just the cup I fill up when I'm shaving. This is my, um, nair rag. I wipe my nair off with this rag. And then we have a razor that I'm going to throw away, but you get the idea on like my razors. And then um, I'm just going to take my loofah out so that she doesn't get dirty in this process. Or not dirty, but she doesn't get Lysol on her in this process. And then we're gonna clean the tub. First time I ever cleaned the tub, I used a bleach spray because I'm like, oh, the tub is white. And I also like, they don't really label whether or not certain cleaners have bleach in them all that well. So I used a bleach spray and it bleached my like black, this is black and also the like tub drain is black. It bleached those a little bit, and I hate it. I wish there was a way to fix it. If you guys know a way to fix it, please let me know. But please don't use bleach in your tubs if everything is not bleach safe. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yes, yeah, so I'm using a cleaner with no bleach. Well, let's get this tub cleaned because it is so filthy right now. Like my hair is in here. It is just not cute. So let's let's get it going. Noticed the lighting is bad, but have you guys noticed a lot of celebrities have died lately? Like, I don't even wanna. It's just weird. Like, it's been day after day, everyone's been dying. Like, Nelson Mandela's daughter or granddaughter died. Um, the singer from Glee might be dead. They found a body at the river where she went missing, but they haven't verified that it's hers. But, like, who else would it be? 
Um, like, like, why are so many celebrities popping up dead right now? It's really tragic, but also strange. Like, y'all are all dying at the same time. Maybe it's just, like, people die every day. Maybe it's just the way Twitter is recording it. It makes it seem like it's the celebrity plague right now. But it's just a little weird. I'm in the bottom of the tub is not coming up easily enough. Normally I use scrubbing bubbles, especially in the tub because it's strong, but we are all out of that. Like this is the only cleaning we have right now. So what I'm going to try and do is use the toilet bowl scrubber to scrub the side of the tub. Because if I just do it with the wipe, I'm just going to get too tired and it's not going to happen. So let's try this and see how it goes. I'm making a cleaning video. The whole time I've been making this video, I've been thinking to myself, like, who's going to want to watch this? Who actually cares to watch me clean my bathroom? I don't think anybody does, but I really just wanted to make a video while I did something, and the something that I had to do was clean my bathroom. So I hope you guys will be understanding. You may have noticed I'm uploading more lately. I'm uploading more. I've got to try. You know, I've got to experiment with different stuff. Try making a cleaning my bathroom video and see how I feel about that. And that is it. Thank you guys for following me on my admittedly kind of strange journey to getting a clean bathroom. It feels so much better now walking into that space, knowing it is cleanly. The light runs smoothly through the space. It smells good. I like spraying a little bit of Glade after I do my cleaning. It's like a finishing touch. The piece de resistance. Oh my dog. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know why you wanted to watch my bathroom go from dirty to clean, but if you guys enjoy it, I have no problem cleaning with you again, because cleaning is something you have to do all the time. So making a fun video out of it and getting to share the experience with you guys, maybe, just maybe, it'll convince some of you to go and clean your own bathrooms or your closets. Oh, that's not my, yep, your closets. <laughs> Yeah, because I know for some of you, you've got a big mess in there. I, I know. I know I do. Anyways, click on some of my links to see some of my other videos. You've already heard my spiel for Black Lives Matter at the beginning of this video, but just because it's not so crazy on social media anymore doesn't mean Black Lives don't matter anymore. We still have issues that we are trying to work through, and there is still legislation that needs to be pass. Please make sure you are taking your time to get educated, stay woke, and do what you can to help. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. At the time of filming this, I have 71 subscribers. I am trying to get to 100, so I really, really hope you can help me with that. I've been YouTubing for two years, and it's it's time that my channel start to grow a little more. <laughs> um, uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. Like I said, I have to take my brother to work at 3.30 and it's 3.15. So I pretty much got to throw on some clothes and get in the car. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, toodaloo. Last chance. Last chance. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye.